Meantime, movie game on now. Bang on. Where's John? You seen John, guys? No, I haven't. I can't find him. Electrix, you seen John? Well, no, worse than I haven't. Oh, don't, we can't start the show without him. I wonder where he is. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll present the show. Oh, brilliant, Electrix. I wonder where John is. Look over there somewhere. Electrics, you know, I have a major, major bone to pick with you. When you said you were going to show me the ropes, I thought you meant you were going to show me the ropes. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but I just wanted to host the movie game just once. You're not too angry with me. Oh, uh, no, if you don't get out of here, I'm going to pull off your earplugs. I'm going to get your discs and change them and blow your circuits and rip off your arms. Just get out of here! Scrap! Whew. And I thought he was my friend, but you know something? I'm going to get my own back later. Ha ha ha. Well, hey, there go the yellows, there go the reds, there go the greens. Let's go and meet the teams. Come on. Yeah! Here we are once again. Here we have the yellows. We have Philip Meekin and Luis Tarbuck from St. Peter's RC Primary School in Blockswich, West Midlands. Philip, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm um, 11 and I like playing football and computer games. What kind of computer games? What's, what's your favorite? Fighting, beat em up games. Do you ever have competitions with some of your friends? No. Anyway, Philip, have a good time. Hope you enjoy the game, okay? Yeah. Excellent. Louise, what about yourself? Tell us a little bit. I like netball and football. And football? Do you play in a, a mixed uh, boys and girls team or is it just all girls? They do boys teams at school, but they haven't got a girls. Oh, they haven't got a girls team. Well, it's about time they had a girls team, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Well, yellows, good luck. Get those questions right. Here we go. Okay. Reds. How are you doing? It's Christopher Hooley and Sophie Gwynne Smith from Edward Field Primary School, Kidlington in Oxfordshire. Christopher, tell me, do you like sports? Do you have hobbies? What, what do you yeah, do? I like basketball and video games. Video games? They keep you busy. Hope they don't get in the way of your homework, though. No? no. Uh, he says no, but his mother and dad say probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sophie, what about you? What, what are you into? Well, I like horse riding, mm -hmm. and I like going on holidays in Kenya and places like that. Wow. Well, well hey, that's, that's totally cool stuff there. <laughs> Guys, good luck. Okay, here we go. Here we have the Greens. Greens, we have Greg Nicholas and Gemma Paul from Ludlow County Junior School in Shropshire. Greg, what about yourself? Tell us a little bit. Um, I like football, athletics, and rugby, and... Um, can't really think of anything yeah. else, can you? No, no. Gemma, what about yourself? I like playing cricket, netball, and I like swimming. Well, you're good at it. All right. You're all right. Well, that's okay to be all right. Okay, anyway, we've met all the teams. Let's have a big round of applause for all of them. Yeah! Yeah! But before we start, before we start the competition, let's have a look at the leaderboard and see what the scores are so far. Matthew and Melissa from Wales are in third place with 89 points. In second place, we have Richard and Helen from Kempston in Bedfordshire with an excellent 96 points. And in first place, with a massive 101 points, it's Gary and Francis from Welland in Worcestershire. Now, guys, those are the scores you have to beat to get into the top three to make it into the finals. And to do so, you have to play the movie game. And to play the movie game, you have to see this first observation round, which is taken from a clip from the new film, The Air Up There, which is out in cinemas later this week. Now, basketball coach Jimmy Dolan travels to Africa to find some new team members. While he is there, he meets Sari, who is a very, very special person. Are we near Winnabi? Winnabi. Winnabi, yeah. Hey. <laughs> You don't understand, see, I'm, I'm, I'm a coach, basketball. I'm here to scout a player. Jimmy Dolan, international recruiter, reporting. Whoa. Whoa. You come to see me play this basketball? That's what I said. Are you healthy up here? I never said that. I forget about Sally if I were you. Forget about him. I just found myself a future NBA Hall of Famer. Defense, 
Defense is more important than breathing. You say defense is more important than breathing. They took you by your one. <laughs> Some of those animals would remind Sophie of her trips to Kenya. Anyway, here we have the questions, guys. Which town is the bus traveling to? Take a wild guess. Marnie Bay. No, sorry. It, it, you're close. You're close. It's Winnaby. Winnaby. Anyway, so the second question. What kind of fool does the man on the bus describe Jimmy as? Albina. Exactly right. Five points. Great, Philip. Here we go. Reds, your two questions. Which animals does Jimmy video? Giraffe. Giraffes is right. That's five points. What color is Jimmy's cap? According to Jimmy, what is more important than breathing? You don't know? It's defense, so no points there. Well, right now we have Greens and yellows at five points, and reds in the leads with ten. Yeah! Now it is. Guess the film titles. Yellows, you go first. Go ahead. Stop. Stop. Number five. Yellows, your first clue is a fire. A fire. Okay? Reds, tell the board when to stop. 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 Number three. Your clue is a calendar with Wednesday highlighted. Okay, a calendar with Wednesday highlighted. Greens, tell the board when to stop. 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 Number four. Greens, your first clue is a radio. A radio. Okay? Those are your first clues. There will be more clues later. But right now, it's pick up your buzzers for the quick fire buzzer round. On which island did the Tracy family live? Yellows. Tracy Island. Tracy Island is right. Five points. This actress starred last year in a film called Hocus Pocus. Who is she? Yellows. Bette Midler. Bette Midler is right. Five points. Listen to this music. was from the movie The Three Musketeers. The heroine of the film was Milady de Winter. True or false? Reds. True. True is right. Five points. Finish this title. Planes, trains, and reds. Automobiles. Automobiles, right. Five points. Who is this actor? Reds. Bruce Willis. Five points. Which film character was Prince of Thieves? Yellows. Robin Hood. Robin Hood is right. Five points. What was the name of the Second World War airplane bomber that came from Memphis? Yellows. Bell. Bell is right. Memphis Bell. Look at this picture. Who is this cartoon hero? Reds. Fred Flintstone. Five points. But the scores right now we have on five points we have the greens. On 25 we have the yellows. And 30 we have the reds. Yeah! yeah! Now it is. Guess the film titles. Yellows, your first clue was fire. Your second clue is an orangutan. Any guesses? You're going to wait. Reds, your first clue was a calendar with Wednesday highlighted. Your second clue is a hand. The Adams Family Valley. That's right. 15 points for the Reds. Yeah! The Greens, your first clue was a radio. Your second clue is Robin Williams. Wait. You're going to wait. Keep thinking because you can guess a little later. But right now, we have the second observation round. It is taken from the video release, which is out next month, Robin Hood Men in Tights, which is a spoof of the Robin Hood legend. Now, in this clip, the Robin Hood's enemies, Prince John and the Sheriff of Rottingham, are testing out a new catapult. And meanwhile, they make an old lady's dream. <laughs> that was too wild. Are you ready? Here we go. What is the catapult called? Greens. Stealth. Stealth catapult is right, five points. And what can the catapult throw through the air? Yellows. Rocks. Boulders. Rocks or boulders, five points. What will a boulder do to anything it hits? Reds. Destroy it. Destroy it, right, five points. The sheriff is sitting in the catapult. What does he wear on his hands? Yellows. Gloves. Black gloves, five points. What do you have to pull on to operate the catapult? Greens. A lever. A lever is right, five points. And what does the old lady pray to be sent to her? Yellows. Her true love. Her true love, five points. And the points so far, we have greens with 15, yellows with 40, and reds with 50. Yeah! Well, now it is. Guess 
the film title part trois. Now I see a little bit of French in there because of the Euro tunnel. You know, good stuff. Okay, yellows. Your first two clues were fire and an orangutan. Your third clue is a jungle. Any guesses? Would you like a verbal clue? A young boy is brought up by the animals of the wild. Jungle book. The jungle book is right. Five points for the yellows. Yeah. Yay! Okay, Reds, you guys got yours already, so congrats. Greens, your first two clues were a radio and Robin Williams. Your third clue is a Vietnamese flag. You want a verbal clue then? A DJ keeps the forces smiling in Vietnam. Oh, um, good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam is right. Five points for the Greens. Yeah! And the score so far, we have Greens with 20, Yellows with 45, and Reds in the lead with 50. Yeah! Well, we've reached that time again where we have to say goodbye to one of the teams, but as always, nobody leaves the movie game a loser because we always have winners. And the team we have to say goodbye to happens to be the Greens, which is Greg and Gemma. Electrics, what have they won? They've won movie game sweatshirt, film CD, and tickets to a movie that they really want to see. Excellent stuff there. There you go, Greg. That's for you. Gemma, that is for you. And let's have a big round of applause for the Greens from Ludlow County Junior School in Shropshire. Yeah! yeah! Guys, uh, JB, JB, can I have a word, please? Sure. What about Lectrix? I I'm, I'm, I'm want to apologize for my behavior early. Oh, I, I just, yeah, you know something? Oh, Actions speak louder than words. There you go. But right now, let the reds and the yellows join me while we break for the board. Come on! <laughs> Come on over here because I have the answer to last week's BBC question. And it is not the BBC channel question. It is the big board competition question. That's right. Now, the candelabra, remember, I asked you the question in the film Beauty and the Beast. What was the character's name who was the candelabra? And the answer is Lumiere. Now, if this is you, you have won a sweatshirt and a video. And that is on its way to you. Hey, some music, which is to do with our next question. Charlton is twinkling away on the ivory. Now, what he's playing was usually the underscoring for silent films. But when talkies came in, the voices took over and the, the pianos were taken out. Now, what we want to know is what is the name of the first talkie? Talking film. What is the name of the first film that had sound, otherwise known as a talkie? Put your answers on a postcard and send it to the movie game, BBC TV, Television Centre, Wood Lane, London, W12, 7RJ. But right now, thanks, Jolton, for playing that, <laughs> twinkling it out. It's time to meet the teams who are going to break for the board. Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, reds and yellows. Come on, reds and yellows. There we go. Okay, Louise and Philip, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Which kind of animals would you associate with the Taylor of Gloucester? Mice? Mice. Mice is right. Move three spaces. Yeah. Yo! What do you want, a two or three question? Three. three a yeah, three, three question, okay. Can you name the doctor who assists Sherlock Holmes? Dr. Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson is right. Go to square number three. Yeah. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh, I tried to moonwalk, didn't work, did it? No, anyway, okay. A two or three question. Three. Harry was a burglar in the Home Alone movies. What was the name of his partner? Marv. That's it, yellows move three spaces, but first that puts us on square number five, which means we go behind the scenes. Yay! Yeah! Yeah, I do say, I say, what, oh, what, oh, hello. I say, what a spiffing party this is. Isn't it wonderful? Well, you know something, my friend Phoebe has a fabulous new dance which is going to teach everybody called the Charleston. We've come back to 1920s. Let me start the music. Here we go, Phoebe. One, two, three. Take it away, Phoebe. Hello, Phoebe. <laughs>
should we award them? Oh, I think they were awfully good, Johnsy. Let's give them a ten. Spivington! Yeah! Thank you to Fifi, Elias, Fiona, Fifi, darling. Oh, darling. Let's go back to the board. Oh, we're back. JP, you said actions speak louder than words, so I bought you these flowers to say sorry. Sure. Oh, Electrix, sorry, I have hay fever. No. Hey, now wait a minute. He's the one who tied me up and put me in a corner. You know, I will forgive him, eventually. But before I forgive him, we're gonna get back to the board. Come on, let's go, here we go. Reds, <laughs> Sophie and Christopher, what do you want, two or three? Or fast three. forward? Three. Oh, three, okay, here we go. What kind of traveling takes place in the Back to the Future movies and in Doctor Who? Time travel. Time travel is right, three spaces, put you on six! Whoa, 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 whoa. I love it when there's a tie. It makes the game so much fun. Okay, here we go, Philip and Louise, two or three? Three. What is the name of the butler in the Aristocats? Edgar. Edgar is right, move three spaces, which puts us on square number nine, which is a double do all behind the scenes. So come on over, guys, and let's go! Yeah! of my ushers and my usherettes here. They're looking very, very special. We're gonna see what movie's playing today, and it looks like it's, look who's talking? No, it's look who's stuffing their faces. The game, you guys, all you have to do is throw as much popcorn as possible into the baby's mouth, okay? Get into your positions behind your popcorn bowls. Oh, I love these kind of games. Are you ready? Because they're messy. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Come back here in front of your babies. Boy, they stuffed those babies full. I'd love to have all that popcorn. Yum, oh. yummy, yummy. I will tell you who the winners are of the spot prize when we go back to the board. Yeah! Whoa! JB, I bought you some chocolates. Why? To, to say, to say you're sorry. Yes, uh, uh, so so soft centers. <laughs> you like them. Mmm, but. I look after my teeth. Oh, I can't do anything right. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll sort them out later, so just be watching, okay? All right, guys. Three, Three, please. Three. In Beauty and the Beast, what is the name of Mrs. Potts' child? Chip. Chip, Chip is right. Three spaces. Move along. Yeah! Guys, number nine, there you go. You're on number nine. Okay, guys, what are you gonna do? Two or three questions. Three. Which actress starred in The Wizard of Oz? Do you have a guess, Louise, maybe? The answer is Judy Garland. Okay, Christopher and Sophie, if you just move forward. Three. You want a three, okay. Mm -hmm. Who played Athos in the recent remake of The Three Musketeers? Keith for Sutherland. Keith for Sutherland, that puts you on square 12. <laughs> Scenes for special effects. Yo! Yeah! Oh, hi. Tis I, Farmer John, and I'm out here in the fields with my flock of sheep, and I've got my helpers, Sophie and Christopher. They're gonna help me today to flock these sheep into their pen. You have a time limit to do it, 30 seconds. You've got your blowers in your hand. Blow them, sheep! Go! Excellent, Sophie and Christopher. I think for the effort, we'll give you nine points! Yeah! yeah! Let's go!